Have you ever had a truly perfect, juicy steak? What if you took that steak to the next level and wrapped it in 24 karat gold? Keep watching to learn more about the truly decadent world of tomahawk steaks. While the name may throw people off, the tomahawk steak is simply a bone-in ribeye. This incredibly tender, highly marbleized cut of beef is essentially a regular ribeye steak that hasn't had the bone removed. The long, intact rib bone is crucial to a tomahawk steak, given its resemblance to an axe handle, and generally measures at least 5 inches as a result. Beyond the bone being left in, there are other distinguishing factors between a regular ribeye and a tomahawk steak. Unlike regular ribeyes, which have no set size or portion expectations, tomahawk steaks are traditionally at least 2 inches thick and are sold in portions ranging from 30 to 45 ounces. These eye-popping characteristics help set the tomahawk steak apart from boneless ribeyes and other premium, high-quality steaks. Additionally, tomahawk is just one of the steak's many colloquial nicknames. Depending on where you're ordering a tomahawk steak, it may be known locally as a cowboy steak, a cote de boeuf, or a delmonico steak. Of course, the name attached to the meat doesn't diminish the quality or taste because, like a rose, a tomahawk steak by any other name is still just as mouthwatering. While the sheer size and heft of a tomahawk steak is bound to capture one's attention, its signature feature has to be the long bone that juts outward like a handle. But the exquisitely displayed bone doesn't come out of the cow looking that way. Rather, the clean, restaurant-ready look is achieved through a traditional food preparation technique known as Frenching. Frenching is a classic culinary cleaning technique where all excess fat, meat, or other tissue is removed from the exposed bone in a cut of meat. This food preparation method is used to elevate any bone-in protein to a higher level of fine dining and is the same technique that gives a rack of lamb its sophisticated appearance. The presence of a perfectly Frenched bone is crucial to a steak being classified as a tomahawk. After all, the attention-grabbing bone is a huge part of the steak's allure and what makes it resemble the titular tool. Plus, without Frenching, you wouldn't be able to pick up a tomahawk steak with such ease and comfort as the bone would remain a flesh-covered mess. The tomahawk steak comes from the longissimus dorsi muscle, which is the same part of the cow that T-bone and porterhouse steak cuts come from. This muscle group is located along the posterior region of a cow, running along the rib cage of a cow's upper back. The specific muscles that are used to make tomahawk steaks lie underneath the ribs and are cut from the rib primal of a cow, usually between ribs 6 through 12. Given their location, these muscles are rarely used by the cow and are heavily laden with intramuscular fat as a result. The liberal interspersing of fat within these muscle groups is what gives a tomahawk steak its almost perfect level of marbling, which results in the meat having an especially flavorful taste as described by Omaha Steaks. The cow's lacking use of its longissimus dorsi muscle is also what gives a tomahawk steak its incredible melt-in-your-mouth tenderness. While some prefer a boneless cut of beef for ease of eating, the bone in a tomahawk steak is much more than just a fancy decoration or helpful handle. It also helps insulate the meat while cooking, allowing for a more evenly cooked steak than its boneless cousins. Leaving the bone in a tomahawk steak allows it to cook slower and reduces the risk of it drying out during the cooking process. This means there's less chance of ruining the meat while cooking. Now, let's be honest, if you're going to spend $100 or more for a steak, you might as well help your odds of cooking it perfectly. A dried-out steak is disappointing, a dried-out tomahawk steak is absolutely heartbreaking. <laughs> Additionally, some believe the bone in a tomahawk steak provides a richer overall flavor than the boneless alternative. This is because the marrow from within the bone is thought to seep out during cooking, enhancing the taste of the surrounding meat. It's unclear, though, whether any marrow is actually released when a steak cooks, and there is some debate amongst diehard steak fans over the perceived value of bone-in steaks versus boneless. We love beef here in the United States. That shouldn't come as a surprise. The average American consumed 54.5 pounds of beef per year as recently as 2011. Even with a reported 70% price increase in beef in March 2021, many future brides and grooms were willing to eat that cost just to ensure their wedding had a beef or steak option on the menu. This unabashed desire for all things beef and meat is a big reason why the tomahawk steak is so beloved. There's something primally enticing about a giant piece of cooked cow muscle, with the long rib bone still attached. 
There's no pretending or distancing yourself from what you're eating when you eat a tomahawk steak, and that's all part of the fun. According to History.com, humans' general love of beef can be traced back more than two million years. Humans have an inherent desire to pursue and consume animal flesh, which is largely rooted in evolution. After all, ancient humans weren't buying fancily packaged meat from a grocery store or placing orders at high-end restaurants. They were killing, scavenging, and butchering dead animals just to survive. Blood, bones, flesh, and all. We may not need meat or beef to survive, but we still often crave it. And when your caveman instincts kick in and you want a meal that resembles the rack of ribs that tips over the Flintstone family car during the show's opening credits, nothing will make you say, quite like a tomahawk steak. Tomahawk steaks are considered an ideal steak to be eaten by more than one person. These steaks have been described by Roots Chris Steakhouse as the ideal steak for two people to share. Iron chef Jeffrey Zakarian has stated a single tomahawk steak can satisfy upwards of three people. The price and size of a tomahawk steak are at the crux of this belief. After all, a tomahawk steak is sold on average for $100 or more and is generally sold in 30 to 45 ounce quantities. Sharing a tomahawk steak with one or more people helps drastically reduce the budget breaking cost and decreases the chances you'll fall victim to the dreaded meat sweats. While you're certainly more than welcome to channel your inner Joey Chestnut and go to town in carnivorous delight, we advise that you take it easy on your digestive system and consider splitting the steak with another person. It all comes down to what your stomach and wallet can handle. If you're looking to further indulge with your already indulgent tomahawk steak, you may want to consider the Nusret restaurants. The chain of upscale restaurants owned and operated by chef Nusret Gukche, or as he is better known, Salt Bay, which offers diners a traditional tomahawk steak option as well as a 24-karat gold-encrusted tomahawk steak. This deliberately flashy menu item is prepared by wrapping a tasteless 24-karat gold leaf around a tomahawk steak. The gold leaf is for presentation purposes only and adds no flavor to the steak. In 2019, the regular version of the tomahawk steak cost $275 at the Miami location, while the cost of the 24-karat gold-encrusted version came in at… One million dollars. Okay, not really, it was more like $1,000. However, the price has only increased through the years, and as of October 2021, the 24-karat gold tomahawk steak was sold at the London location for an astounding 1,450 pounds or roughly $1,900. Since being put on the menu, this incredibly decadent entree has caused controversy for more than just its price tag. In December 2019, a party at the New Sret Miami location refused to pay for a pair of gold-encrusted tomahawk steaks, claiming they ordered the regular steaks but were served the gold version. After police were called in, the diners begrudgingly paid the bill as they had eaten the gold-encrusted steaks during their meal. While some chefs and butchers have questioned the hype surrounding the tomahawk steak, others remain dedicated fans. This includes celebrity and iron chef Jeffrey Sakarian, who's described the incredibly rich tomahawk steak as the, quote, best steak in the business. The acclaimed chef has been a vocal proponent of the tomahawk steak for some time. Zakarian has featured the item at several of his restaurants, including a dry-aged steak entree at his now-closed Beverly Hills restaurant, Georgie. Once, in an Instagram post, he even asked whether anyone has ever laid eyes on such a gorgeous cut of meat while preparing a set of tomahawk steaks. Zakarian recommends chefs pre-season tomahawk steaks several hours before cooking, as well as re-seasoning just before. While seasoning any meat hours beforehand is something he doesn't typically advise, the perennial chopped judge believes the extremely thick tomahawk steak may require this extra cooking step to maximize its flavor. After all of this, we're sure you're just aching to run out and get your hands on a tomahawk steak this very instant. But be forewarned, you may have to take out a second mortgage on your home before you do. Besides the signature bone handle and its incredible girth, the most well-known aspect of a tomahawk steak may be its hefty price tag. Since tomahawk steaks are at least two inches thick with a protruding, perfectly Frenched bone, they're big and bold by design. Consequently, tomahawk steaks aren't cheap and are often among the most expensive cuts of steak on the market. The average cost per pound for tomahawk steaks can run anywhere from $50 to $100, depending on the butcher or vendor. 
And since most tomahawk steaks are sold in quantities of at least 30 ounces, an entire tomahawk steak can end up costing several hundred dollars in some cases. In fact, as recently as 2017, the most expensive cut of beef in the entire world was an aged tomahawk steak. This vintage 2000 cut of beef was sold for a whopping $3,200 per steak. Oh my god! Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.